can I get start with the uh, presentation? I'll I'll introduce you so first. So welcome oh, yeah, everyone okay. to our um, 29th bioelectrodynamics webinar meeting. So uh, we have a if you like ask any questions because you might be in the lobby before when I give the first instructions, just feel free to write in the Q and A or in the chat or raise your hand after the meeting. Uh, the attendees will be have video switched off and muted during the talk. Uh, it's my pleasure today to introduce uh, Professor He Jo Lee. He obtained his PhD degree in electrical and electronic engineering from Yonsei University in Seoul, South Korea in 2010. From 2010 to 12, he was a postdoctoral researcher um, at the Yonsei University and the Grafford Research Institute at Sejong University. Then from 2012 to 14, he worked as a research professor in uh, mechanical engineering, electrical and electronic engineering in Yonsei University. And since 2014, September, he has been an associate professor at the Department of Physics Education at Daegu University. As you'll see today, his main research interests are in the area of electromagnetic wave and field theory, radio frequency and microwave biosensors, and gas sensors as well, and also microwave related field. And I, I would like to mention that he's very productive, having published 155 journal and conference papers on these research fields, and also he received the Scientist Medal from the International Association of Advanced Materials in 2021. So without further ado, I would like to ask uh, Professor Lee to uh, give his talk. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for uh, the kind of introduction, Chairman. Uh, today uh, I'm going to talk about uh, biomolecule and bacterial cell detection in the radio frequency and microwave logic. Okay, uh, my presentation consists of uh, three parts. First, uh, I will introduce our research field and then detail with the, the main, top, main topics now, finally, I will conclude and discuss my presentations. OK, I will group mainly uh, focuses on the sensor uh, by, uh, platform research in the radio frequency microwave uh, region. So we are oriented toward collaborating research because the sensor platform is uh, integrated with uh, nano, bio and wireless technology to enhance sensing performance. In particular, our research field primarily uh, based on electromagnetic, uh, sorry, electromagnetic wave physics uh, and uh, RF and microwave electronics in our group to development novel sensing device and circuits. It is important to design RF microwave components such as uh, uh, small antennas and uh, uh, a high Q resonator using a full wave electromagnetic simulation and circuit simulations. Okay, so this slide shows our uh, laboratory facilities for sample of fabrication and measurement systems. First, uh, we design the sensor using uh, full wave electromagnetic and uh, circuit simulations. If the design result satisfies our goal, we fabricated the uh, uh, micro and uh, macro scale RF microwave device and circuits. For micro scale samples, uh, we measure using probe station system. As you can see, we also measure a macro scale sample using uh, test the picture jigger systems. OK, uh, let's start with the first topics. The first topic is biomolecular detection, LRF microwave regimes. OK, as you can see, a radio uh, and microwave is the kinds of uh, frequency bands in the electromagnetic spectrum. As you can see, uh, uh, electromagnetic spectrum is very broadband, radio frequency to microwave and uh, optical and gamma rays. 
Uh, we especially need to understand uh, background of uh, RF microwave physics and electronics to the uh, micro and millimeter scale RF microwave device and circuits with the uh, uh, with the nanoscale organic and inorganic materials such as uh, uh, carbon nanotube and uh, protein and uh, DNAs for sensing applications. Uh, these images are biosensing devices suggested by our group. The left image is the microscale interdigital capacity based sensor, and the right image is the millimeter scale spring ring resonator based sensor for biomolecular sensing. Okay. Uh, as you know, uh, according to the Miriam uh, Webster Dictionary, uh, biosensor is uh, uh, defines the device that, as you can, uh, sorry, uh, that monitors and transmit information about the life process, especially the device consists of biological components, uh, for example, enzyme and bacterium, that reacts with the target substance or analytes uh, signal generating and electrochemical components that detect the resulting products or byproducts. So, as you can see, the uh, biosensor consists of uh, detection um, and transduction and signal processing parts. In the detection parts or detector, an analyte is, uh, is bounded to biological detection elements in the biolayer. Uh, the specific binding is uh, uh, translated into the uh, electronic signal in the transduction part or transduce. In particular, a uh, biosensor can be classified with uh, transducer types uh, such as electrochemical, optical, mechanical, surface acoustic wave biosensors. Finally, we can estimate quantitative binding events in the signal processing part. Okay. So uh, this shows the uh, representative uh, RF microwave biosensors from the viewpoint of operating frequency. The RF sensor operates uh, under 300 megahertz, while the microwave sensor operate over 300 megahertz. Here, uh, cantilever, quartz crystal membrane, a surface of caustic wave filter, uh, a, a micro electromechanical system, MEMS based on sensor types in the RF regions. And uh, interdigital capacitors are widely used sensor types from radio frequency to microwave lesions. And uh, a micro resonator is the types from, uh, sorry, uh, microwave is the uh, nano electromechanical system, NAMS based sensor uh, type in the RF lesions. And dielectric uh, resonator is the high resonator types in the microwave region. Uh, in addition, uh, radio frequency integrated circuit and the nuclear magnetic resonance uh, uh, is the medium atrized NMR uh, sensor. This uh, study is uh, uh, conducted by uh, Harvard groups uh, and uh, spring ring resonator is a uh, uh, metamaterial elements based sensor types uh, suggested by our groups in microwave regions. And finally, uh, radio frequency identification is uh, the LC uh, inductor and capacitor matching circuits based sensor types in the RF regions. Okay, uh, this table shows the uh, previous. Uh, uh, representative RF microwave summary for uh, biosensing. Uh, these biosensors can be uh, categorized into the piezo, uh, electromagnetic, nuclear magnetic, and uh, antenna types. From the summarized uh, tables, 
the RF sensor are based on the piezo uh, and the nuclear magnetic resonance types because uh, uh, operating frequency is are uh, under 300 megahertz, right? So uh, the microwave sensor also based on electromagnetic uh, resonance and antennas. The red, especially the red color, the spring resonate proposed by our group is a uh, frequency shift based the sensor for by molecules. Uh, for example, uh, alpha MLS cortisol uh, in the microwave regions. OK, in this paper, our group proposed the uh, double spring resonate uh, based sensor for uh, biotin. Biotin is uh, uh, a series of vitamin and the strept RBD is uh, a kind of uh, proteins. So uh, we are our first uh, uh, conducted uh, biosensing uh, work. So, uh, uh, okay, in this uh, X band, uh, X band means uh, uh, eight, uh, from 8 gigahertz to 12 gigahertz. Okay. For oh, this uh, case, uh, we also proposed the second version, double spring resonate based uh, sensor types for prostate specific antigen and stress biomarkers detections. In this case, double spring resonate was uh, strongly coupled with the high impedance lines uh, because this line can generate a high current intensity to enhance the electromagnetic field in the double spring resonator. Okay, for this paper, this is uh, the third version spring resonator based sensor for uh, cortisol and alpha MLS. We also employed an asymmetric and uh, high impedance, uh, high impedance line. Uh, this sensor is a uh, uh, very simple and compact structure with uh, uh, small uh, specimen volumes. So in this presentation, I will focus on the asymmetric spring in resonator based sensor and deal with the sensing mechanism and performance in detail. OK, from the viewpoint of a spring resonates, uh, the double spring resonate Construct, uh, constructs uh, inner and outer uh, spring resonator. So this structure has a complex uh, electric components with the individual capacitance uh, inductance as well as a mutual capacitance and inductance. So uh, this resonance frequency corresponding to every Z uh, frequency between inner and outer spring resonators. However, uh, the single uh, asymmetric SLR has just the individual capacitance and inductance. So this is a very simple structure. So we uh, employed with the uh, uh, biosensor device in this work. OK. Uh, this slide shows the schematic of the asymmetric SLR-based sensor, which is a, a biochip level to combine a small sample on the resonators. Uh, this image represented the fabricated uh, sensors. Uh, the individual asymmetric SLR is the area just uh, 10 by 12, uh, 10 by 20 millimeter squares. Uh, this is very small uh, 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 sensors. Uh, this sensor is based on the microstrip lines. Uh, con microstrip line consisting of uh, uh, signal line and substrate and ground plans. Uh, this figure depicts the time varying uh, electromagnetic fields. Uh, here's the uh, solid line indicated electric field and uh, magnetic uh, field indicated H, right? So uh, this uh, figure instantaneously electromagnetic field distributions. Uh, 
here. Uh, okay, so uh, as you can see, the electric magnetic field uh, uh, is uh, a cross transfer a transfer electromagnetic mode, abbreviated -E TEM mode. The time bearing magnetic field uh, time bearing magnetic field uh, generated the surface current on the resonate. Furthermore, you may be curious about the difference between symmetric SLR and asymmetric SLR. Though these resonate commonly model equivalent LC circuits. Okay, in this figure, the asymmetric uh, SLR and the symmetric SLR. Uh, as you can see, asymmetric SLR showed a deeper resonance than the symmetric SLR. This is uh, because the two resonate deeper in surface current mode. The uh, surface current mode of uh, uh, a symmetric SLR is in phase, so high current indicates or representative. Represent on the other hand, the symmetric SLR is uh, out of phase, uh, relatively low currents. For these reasons, the asymmetric SLR has more high Q resonance than the symmetric SLR. Uh, this uh, figure shows the uh, 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 in phase current mode, right? Okay. From the simulator result, the design resonator was fabricated. In this figure, we measured asymmetric SLR and symmetric SLR device using a uh, test picture jigger system associated with two port vector network analyze. Finally, we could confirm uh, the experiment result as predicted with the simulations. Okay. This figure shows the generation stress biomarkers and their effects on the human physiologist. From this uh, physiological mechanism, stress induces uh, depressive symptoms when we are continuously proposed the stress. Then uh, cortisol is uh, generated in uh, adrenal gland and this uh, hormone uh, can occur in the uh, endothelium and uh, uh, atherosclerotic lesions in blood vessels. Okay, to confirm the sensing functionality on the spleen resonator surface, we conducted the bioprocessing using uh, prostate specific antigen linked uh, size 3 dyes. The control test was just introduced. Uh, PSA, PSA are uh, represented uh, here uh, without uh, prostate antibody. On the other hand, the experiment test was immobilized with the uh, prostate antigen and prostate antibody was then introduced on the uh, resonator surface. When sensory dye was uh, introduced to the test sample, the experimental test only showed uh, size three dye images. This result demonstrated that the uh, asymmetric SLR can have a functionality as biosensors. Okay, uh, this figure shows the uh, two types of bioprocessing for uh, cortisol and alpha amylase detections. One type is uh, competitive reactions, and the other is uh, direct uh, reactions. First, uh, sensory, first, uh, sensory, uh, sorry, uh, first, assistance linked protein Z was immobilized on the resonator surface. Then, anti cortisol was uh, introduced and to blocking. Uh, to block the specific bind, BSA was introduced. Uh, uh, the cortisol BSA uh, was uh, bounded to the anti uh, cortisol, and then uh, pre cortisol was also introduced. 
the cortisol BSA uh, and precortisol induce the competitive reaction attached to the cysteine serine protein Z with the uh, anti cortisol. For alpha amylase uh, bioprocessing, um, uh, okay, uh, here, okay, okay. Okay, so, oh, okay, I'm sorry, uh, the, uh, okay, cortisol or uh, BSA was superior cortisol, oh, okay, sorry, okay, the cortisol BSA, uh, okay, uh, competitive reactions, and then, uh, for alpha amylase uh, by processing, anti-alpha uh, alpha amylase, Anti-alpha amylase uh, was introduced in uh, cysteine 3, uh, linked to protein G, and after blocking, uh, the alpha amylase was introduced. And uh, this result showed the uh, resonance frequency uh, behavior, the four kinds of bioprocessing for pure cortisol sensing. The first uh, the first processing, cysteine 3 protein C, uh, immobilization, and uh, uh, the second is binding cortisol antibody uh, to the cysteine 3 uh, protein G, and the third is uh, binding cortisol with the BSA to the three different uh, concentration. Different content is uh, uh, 100, 10, 10, 110, and 1 nanometer, uh, nanogram per ml. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, the resonance frequency uh, shifted toward the lower frequency uh, regions with the increasing PSA with the cortisol concentration. Right? Uh, bear, uh, asymmetric SRR uh, uh, represented uh, blue colors, resonance, and the system protein G and the cortisol antibody BSA is uh, uh, indicated a red, red, uh, red color. And then the cortisol uh, with the BSA uh, indicated uh, uh, blue color. Uh, uh, Light blue color, and uh, finally, uh, precortisol introduced was introduced in uh, these uh, binding system in binding systems. Uh, finally, uh, uh, precortisol uh, was introduced in this uh, binding system. The resonant frequencies moved backward uh, higher frequency regions. So, um, okay, so uh, with the competitive reaction between cortisol, cortisol and uh, pre-cortisol and cortisol uh, with the BSA uh, is uh, replaced uh, with uh, pre-cortisol, right? This is, this is, uh, I think this is very uh, difficult to understand uh, uh, bioprocessing so because uh, uh, I do not uh, measure uh, uh, bioprocessing uh, uh, engineering, but uh, uh, our uh, this this processing is collaborated with uh, uh, bioengineering and uh, environmental engineering uh, scientists. So uh, actually, so I did not uh, exactly. Uh, uh, binding system process. Okay. In addition, this result showed uh, uh, the resonance frequency behavior, the three kinds of bioprocessing for alpha MLS sensing. And the first uh, bioprocessing is the immobilization system three protein G. The second is binding cortisol antibody to the uh, uh, system protein G, and the third, the introduction of alpha amylase 
to the three different concentration, uh, 110 and uh, one uh, unit per ml. Uh, as you can see, the resonance frequency is shifted toward uh, a lower frequency region with the increasing alpha amylase concentrations. So, uh, when the bio, uh, as you can see, uh, the, when the biomolecular binding is added, the resonance frequency shifted uh, toward the lower frequencies the region. Yes, so, uh, assuming the biomolecular binding can be regarded as a small LC perturbation, small LC perturbation indicated to delta L and delta C, uh, relatively, relatively L0, LC0 is uh, higher, much, much higher than uh, LC perturbation uh, components. And, uh, okay, so, uh, Okay, uh, assuming uh, uh, biomolecular binding can be regarded as a, a small LC perturbation in the LC circuit formula, uh, the resonance frequency uh, behavior uh, and analyzed using uh, Taylor approximations. As a result, we uh, prove that resonance frequency is shifted toward the lower frequency region with uh, increasing biomolecular bindings. So, uh, F0 indicated the uh, bare spring resonator uh, resonant frequency. Uh, delta F is a different frequency uh, is equals to these terms. So, as you can see uh, here, uh, final frequency, final resonance frequency is equal to zero or minus delta F. So, uh, as uh, uh, binding processing is added, uh, resonance frequency is uh, uh, shifted uh, toward the lower frequency regions. Right? Okay, uh, I recommend that this uh, paper. This paper is. Uh, 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 review papers. If you are interested in my talks, uh, I, I, I recommend uh, these papers. Uh, let's move on to the next topics. Okay, let's start with the two second uh, second topics. Second topic is the uh, bacteria cell detection L RF microwave lesion. Okay. As before mentioned, our laboratory uh, collaborates with uh, various experts and fields such as bioengineering and uh, mechanical engineering, electrical and electronic engineering and chemistry. Uh, this work was uh, conducted uh, with uh, Professor Kang's group in our university. Kang, uh, Professor Kang is a, a very great uh, scientist and engineering. Uh, engineers or engineers in our uh, university as well as in South Korea. And as we can see, uh, the microwave uh, band uh, responds to the electric dipole in the dielectric uh, spectroscopy. From viewpoint of interactions between electromagnetic wave and cells, uh, DC2 uh, megahertz, about uh, 100 megahertz waivers do not uh, penetrate the cell. Uh, in addition, terahertz and optical waivers locally penetrated the uh, surface uh, cells because terahertz optical uh, waivers is uh, uh, very high frequency, so uh, locally penetrated the, uh, the cells. This, this means the skin depth is very low, very, uh, very small. So, however, the microwave uh, completely transmits into the cells. So, it's uh, important to understand microwave transmission property to the cells. Okay, uh, in this work, the sensing biomaterial is a bacterium cell. Uh, this shows the size uh, biomaterial from uh, Ebola virus, rhinovirus to uh, red blood cells and the uh, leg with the pollens. Uh, 
Uh, I think uh, bacteria cell is uh, correspond to the uh, about uh, one, two, and ten micrometers. So as you can see, the size of equi uh, is uh, cool, uh, exactly two micrometer uh, meters. Okay. Uh, bacteria cell had have a uh, diverse size and shapes arrangements. So bacteria cell uh, primarily categorized into the several kinds, such as a uh, coxy or uh, spears, a uh, lus, and uh, spider shaped bacteria. In this work, uh, E. coli and Bacillus cereus are a uh, lot of types of bacteria cells. Okay, in addition, bacteria cells are uh, classified as uh, gram-positive and gram-negative. As you can see, gram-positive bacteria uh, shows a dark violet or purple color under the microscope uh, after gram-straining and retaining the color of crystal violet after washing with the alcohol. On the other hand, the gram-negative bacteria show the pink or red color after gram staining, and the color crystal violet does not retain after washing with the uh, staining solutions. From viewpoint of the biological structures, uh, gram-negative uh, bacteria have uh, out membrane. However, uh, gram-positive bacteria do not have uh, out members. It is a crucial point for uh, understanding bacteria identifications. Uh, this, uh, this figure uh, shows the uh, gram positive and gram negative uh, representative uh, bacteria types, coxy and LAS. Uh, uh, these are uh, uh, corresponded to the uh, gram positive coxy, and uh, this uh, bacterium, bacteria is gram negative coxies. Okay, in previous studies, there are so many RF uh, microwave schemes or method for bacterial sensing. Uh, the represented, represented uh, sensing scheme is uh, uh, typical resonate based bacterial sensors. And this scheme uh, characterizes the uh, permittivity and the loss tangents of bacterial cells in the microwave regions. In addition, this uh, scheme shows the open-ended coaxial probe uh, based uh, uh, sensor for monitoring bacteria and bioplum uh, growth. Uh, this scheme uh, is uh, sensor parameter is uh, uh, SO1, uh, reflect reflection coefficient. Uh, this sensing uh, parameter is uh, S21, uh, uh, transmission coefficients. Okay. Okay. Uh, recently, our uh, group has studied bacteria sensing and uh, their identification. Our sensing scheme is a uh, couple uh, microstrip uh, line resonator, uh, abbreviated CMLR, uh, which is uh, a simple and compact uh, resonator types. In the observed frequency band, uh, 0 0.5 to 10 gigahertz. The proposed resonator shows uh, multi-resonance mode for first to second and uh, third first mode. Uh, this figure shows the surface current distributions for multi-resonance modes. In addition, multi-resonance mode have a multi-frequency and multi-transmission uh, coefficient amplitude and multi Q factors, quart factors in the observed frequency regions. Furthermore, this is a uh, resistance inductance circuit, uh, capacitance circuit, RSC circuit models for the proposed sensor. Uh, the circuit below is uh, uh, Norton equivalent models. Okay. Our sensor is a simple compact scheme with a small volume, about two microliter using pipettes. Uh, this photograph represented the device on the test with a small 
droplets be small. Uh, we use the major system is a, a universal test fixed jig system associated uh, vector network analyze. And then this image uh, shows the test sample, LB medium, LB medium with the E. coli and bacillus bacterium cells. Furthermore, uh, this image uh, represented the E. coli cell stained with the green fluorescence and the uh, bacillus cereal cell with the uh, uh, red fluorescence. Okay. So uh, uh, this uh, figure shows uh, the equally sensing results. Uh, figure uh, B uh, represented the overall behavior of a multi resonant mode with the test configuration, uh, bare sensor, uh, LB, or uh, liquid uh, uh, mediums. And equally, uh, bacterium with uh, uh, three kinds of uh, concentration: 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.05, uh, 0.01s. Uh, figure C, D, E, F uh, show the uh, behavior in large, the first, uh, second, and third, and first resonant modes for test configuration, respectively. Okay. Okay, uh, similarly, this figure represented the uh, bacillus series uh, sensing result. Figure B also uh, shows the overall behavior multi resonance modes with the uh, test configurations. And uh, figure C, D, E, F uh, shows the behavior in large the first two uh, uh, force uh, reson first mode, uh, resonant mode for test configuration respectively. Okay, uh, this figure, this slide is very important in this work. Uh, this result, uh, because this result represents uh, discrimination between E. coli and bacillus bacterium cells. Uh, uh, this green uh, arrow uh, direction indicated a higher order resonant mode first, second, third, and fourth mode. And uh, uh, you know, this uh, arrow direction indicated a higher concentration, uh, 0 0.01 and 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. Okay. So uh, in uh, 0 0.10, uh, optical density over uh, per ml concentration frequency uh, frequency and S21 amplitude variation are more discriminant with the increase in mode. Uh, as you can see, uh, higher order resonance mode, uh, you can uh, find, find the uh, clearly dis uh, distinct uh, uh, two bacterial cells. And uh, similarly, uh, in uh, 0 0.05 uh, optical density ML concentrations, the frequency S21 amplitude variation shows similar behavior like uh, 0 0.01 uh, optical density ML concentration. On the other hand, in uh, 0.1 optical density ML concentration, frequency S21 variation represents a more larger variation uh, compared to the uh, different uh, concentration 0 0.01, uh, 0 0.01 and 0 0.05. From this result, we we found the uh, the third resonant third resonance uh, showed the discriminant frequency and S21 amplitude variations uh, between two kinds of bacteria. Okay. Okay, uh, this is a uh, uh, final uh, slide. This is our uh, conclusions. Our con uh, sensing device has uh, several merits, um, such as uh, small specimen volume and multi sensing parameters. For as, as, uh, as uh, uh, before mentioned, uh, uh, multi frequency, multi uh, S21 amplitude, and multi and um, two factors and straightforward sensing schemes. Uh, in addition, we 
could confirm discrimination between equi and the partially serious uh, test concentrations. However, uh, we uh, have a challenge that uh, we uh, should design the test for minimal bacterial uh, cell detection for uh, portable and um, disposal and reliable uh, point of care uh, test in the future. Okay, uh, uh, thank you for your uh, attention, very long times. Uh, thank you.